Hey guys, mugamba mtia kansubide nti mulibulu unji, senga diva once again, I'm back. Uh, Nina chenye ndo kube ranga njoge la kubanji kumwe muzenga mtu ukiri ranga munga mba diva. Whenever I engage in a relationship, my relationship doesn't work out. I don't know why, what's the reason, what and what. Some of you even think, reach an extent of thinking that you cast, that you done what. Yet it's not really the case, but it's a matter of you sitting back, looking to yourself and change some of the things you've been doing wrong all over at least so it's what i'm going to be talking about today some of the reasons why you yourself you're the own problem in your relationship so i think beranga ouli this is a omsomo gunenu paka jekuna gwera uberengo kola chingo funa echo kuiga otherwise subscribe to my channel yes thanks for following me thanks for turning up on my videos thanks for liking thanks for the comments and again thanks for coming in box privately to ask questions whenever you need help because it empowers me also so guys thank you so much yeah don't forget to subscribe share and like if at all you have got a comment about this video just comment in the comment box there i will view your comment and respond to you and you are selfish and self-centered you get offended when your expectations are not met you want to be treated very well you want to be cared for you want this and that just you imagine just you alone you just you need everything but hardly care about what others want or need is he or she not a human being like you point in our singer temujiraba and most of you that's why your relationships don't work out well because you're too selfish you're self-centered kwega gwebuli chimu choya gala chibenga chikola mu relationship yo chitambuli la kugwe Gwaya galachi no gwaya galachiri. Nehatenga you don't care about others. Let's say most of the girls. Osobolo kufuna guy in Gabambi aliso care like ali caring jolly, loving jolly, afayo. I and even even financially he is supportive. No belanga kwe gamba at times you don't care about her. In which way? Um said ya solo kugamba about something in ti ye taga chino mu relationship ya much chu came over this and this and you feel like ah that's nonsense. O shitegera no banga tomuba zemu kabuntu, nwabula tegwe, o yagala chole to bacho yisa wuchi benga chikolachi, nga chitambula chechiba chikola chechiba kwega relationship we tambuli ku kumate kago. Let's send it go back and take a relationship. Go ya gal it chochi tewo. It chamu na tochi fako. So you girls, or even boys, cause it's not all about girls or ladies. Even you men, you do it. Stop being selfish in a relationship. Just be. Just me, like just put it in your minds. In the relationship, or jirimu neomu tumu no. Ngagwe, of which in tina aina characters, aina opinions say. So don't think it only your opinions will work in a relationship. No, my dear. Mundo bi jaku muta matu ko kula banga yeta bali wamukabuntu. Ate muba mune tsera omuchala I will stick more so on ladies. Ntiab sele bi singa we sanga abawala. Beauty and it will imba. Osobolo kulaba diva no gamba. Wow, diva is beautiful. Diva is what? No labanga. Okay, you can entice different men. You can attract different men. Na him my idea, you will end up like. Okuvamu stage joba denga. Abasajja bakulaba baku yikira. Nga you've got out of nothing. Out of your beauty. Nga gweche wakule mbezanga like. Echo kurani sachonti. Ajaku no ndola. Andi mulu unja neta aga nyo chino na chino. Kwega gwe muno no berango. Munyigiriza. Kuvango kunyigiriza saidi ene indala. Bye. By the way, even the men, wali wo muami inga kwe gaye, wala banga, oh, oh, addressing the well, like a slack king, in a year full of watch talo. So, it's all, it's not all about kwe full of watch talo mu relationship. No, it's all about caring about each other, cause oline muntumu no, the relationship has to be run by two people. So, stop being selfish in a relationship. This point of selfish, like, binds out like binds a lot of things in it because i makulu manji if at all you go deeply to explain but i'm gonna give you some of the points why your relationship isn't working well you look 
and sit back you look into yourself then change somewhere oja kulaba anga buli chimu chitambula bulunji kwa buli muntu aine ngeri jaya galaba mu isemu relationship nayo obanga to chitumanyi ngera gwe to chetaga kufai to kuga you don't care only your opinion works my dear you end up losing all the relationships so jack tuko kweta gumsa janti okalilo wase obofumbirenga mm -mm, it's too late so my second point is going to be you want your relationship to work your way alone and so you get angry when he or she says no let's try it this way you don't know it oh my dear and so try to listen to the other point here and i guess it's very clear era eja kwe kwa saga nya ne ne point e so se nti go yagala relationship yo etambulire ku ntolizo butya bwo chetaga ne wo bo manyi ne wo banga to manyi gwe choyogedde checho te kisazibwa mu checho te kisazibwa mu te wetaga idea ndala yo nayo na my dear it won't work out so we we singana nti oyogedde chintu ne chitakolebwa olugenda kunyiga you're gonna feel offended. You're gonna feel like you're not a man. You're gonna feel like you're not a lady. You're gonna feel like you're not this. No, relationships don't work out that way. You just have to be easy. You just have to be welcoming whatever idea your partner brings. Even if it's not the right one. Listen, but again, mubelenga mchi discussing ako. It's not that inti chana bale sa chija kuba mwa makulu all every time chana leta chana ba mwa makulu. No, but try to listen. Don't think that only your opinion can work. Mm-mm. Wuliri za bulunji nyo mubenga mchi ogerezi ganyako. Omugampe muna ngeno. Mdaba anga chine chitako le cause. It's not right in this way or the other. You never know which talk you will carry out you with your partner. Na cause. Budi omwa inengeli jayo gira muno mtuwe. Budi omwa inengeli jatwa jako lachi. Jatam some relationship ye. Na ye there are some points. There are some tips. Zo ino kute. Zita kwega relationship kwe tambulira. Nga maidie yone weba nge kola bulala. Still nga wali wo points. Is it general? Nga each and every relationship has to follow them. Number three, during communication, you dominate and hardly listen to the other as if they have nothing to say. Learn to listen often because even a child has something to say. And except that one you said, all demand is the final. That is a domineering spirit in a relationship. Point here no elege nda kwe fanangiliza nezi sose. Na yate it's different. Cause niti wemba nyinyo nyola I may include it but it's another point. You hardly listen to your partner. Hmm? Kwe gano mtu alanga ya taina vya makulu vya yugela. And of which it's wrong. It's poison. It's so toxic in a relationship. You will always, you will always lose relationships if at all you're someone who doesn't want to listen to the second party because you're the first party and there is a second party that's your partner so you have to listen to your partner oba mchala oba muami muino kuberanga muuli ziganya muno nota mtuwala anga musiru nota mtuwala anga atamanyi osobola kuberanga msinge ebitabo osobola kuberanga msinga anything osobola kuberanga msinga sente Na your relationship is not all about that. Muna ne wabanga like you're rich, nga msinga sent, you're educated, nga msinga level of education, you're like a diplomat, you're everything, you've got all the degrees, PhD, my dear relationship, tajamu, if you're professionals, what and what. You just have to enjoy the relationship. Kubange video nabi na it doesn't matter. All, uh, all relationship is all about love and caring, satisfying your desire for the love, like intimacy, what and what. So you have to listen to your partner, no matter which status jarim. Divan sobolo kubela wanenunga, si ina bumanyiri vuko na saso masako lachi. Na yengo musajia gwenina, hansi ingila wala. Techiri kubutianti oboli mukulu oboli what? mm, -mm. Wabanga wasala ono gama to let you engage yourself in a relationship with someone. It means you have to be ready to listen to them. So, that has been my co my point. Number four, you are too possessive. Listen, you can't possess a human being. 
probably a robot and humans aren't a robots. I guess my point is very clear. You are too possessive. Kwe gamba, muno ya galo muwambe. Muno ya galo belenga. I don't know. Possessive, possessive. Anaba chitega atisokolo chinyo nyolo gulunji muluganda. You can put a comment in the comment box. Obelenga kwe gamba. You give it like in a right way. But being possessive, muno ya galo belenga. You possess her. You possess him kwe gamba. Omuwambe mugulichimu. Eh? Like omweze buli wamu. It's like being initiative. Like I don't know. At times you find like initiation is a, is good in a relationship. At times it may be somehow not safe with your partner. I don't know. 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 I do Making your partner insecure. Kubela anga tauli la mirembe. Chimubu zake mirembe by the way. Yes. Number five. You are always dissatisfied. Always finding faults and complaining. Rather than appreciating him or her more. My dear. No one loves a sadistic and a peppery individual. You have an emotional problem. And so work on yourself. First before looking for someone to be in a relationship. Number five is very clear also. Because... I've said you are always dissatisfied, always finding faults and complaints rather than appreciating him or her more. There are some partners in a going relationship where you will never be satisfied with anything your partner does. Each and every time you find faults, this is not working, this is not good, why are this, are this, oh my Ochimani tino muno yogoi samwe yembera Chimu malamu amani Na uliranga kwe gamba Isn't loved at all Isn't appreciated at all You have a time who's appreciate your lover Okay asokolo kole chintuwe chitali Like suiting e chitamala ubachi But you have to always Like appreciate that little thing Chaba koze Not each and every time for finding faults Omuchala omusajia kuwade chitako You will see like Kati gogenzo la anga chino chimala Ela, ela nze wana nge Nze olavi ko inayaba la labo wa Kugamba each and every time complaining Give like finding faults in your lover Hmm? Muno na kufisi zo ude Nze laba nange nze simanyi Obade na balala jesiba de Chino na chino Kugamba Omumuwa gongwa kugagwe ever you point out different complaints, different faults, different words. At times, Tomani Munombera Java Daitam, whether it has been hard, difficult, or good. So you have to learn to appreciate. No matter how little something has been done for you, you have to appreciate. Because, Wobela Omuntu Aino Mutimo Gomusimi, Nga Okene Waba Wensobi, but still, you at the end appreciate. Muno sobolo mugamba, hani waneno toko zebulu, jina ya temu kweba za cause, you've done a lot, my dear. Chine ngeli jechiweweza mumu tima guwa muno. Guwa badola gangant, it's not something really good or the best, but at, at the end you appreciate agamba. Oh my. Oshita gela, chimuwa amany, even like it gives him all her the morale to do more. Okuchu samu wabadeta kolachi, wabadeta kolabulonji. Yeah. My number six is going to be you didn't forgive and forget your past. And so you carried a wounded heart into your new relationship. You keep punishing him or her as if he or she is the cause of your problems. My dear, deal with your past baggage. This point is so clear. Muli mua muntunga kwe gamba tewela bilabia itabio. Wabanga oinebia itabio ABB Nga kwe gamba waita mkasera Kazibu wako kunyigirizibwa You bring it in the new relationship Muno noberango mwaki Uzinga over what you passed Through the past I think it's very clear It's not necessary doing it in the new relationship Cause it will be like Chidja kumalako muno we mirembe Let's say wabade mchala Nga you had a a nasty boyfriend. Let's say you over the morning you had a nasty girlfriend. Nga kwe gamba everything in your past relationship wasn't okay. Kati no 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 mula vila mchitichori e ya soka. No belanga you accuse him or her in that way. No belanga kwe gambo mutima guwe bagu menya. No la vila dalanga no na agenda kumenya. 
even you reach a time of not giving in your all no banga where's the bizebi moon moon no go one day abidiza like being so open with him being so open with her no berango lava it's not necessary you end up being hurt you end up being done this kwe gambo mutima guo gujude eko ebi wundu echi no beranga muno ona te gole tilo kuberanga a suffering a kurecho deal with your past baggage my dear past has got a lot of things but in kwa de example yu na yebi jinye bia itabye tuisemu abasinga bia tuleta mu new relationships so please work out your past to bileta mu new relationship muno muleke aku enjoying muno muleke aku nyumire better open be open to him be open to her ojakula banga bikolachi ngabiba nyumira cause na yachi manyu wo ine bia itabyo story mbele la you're not a virgin and of which even if you're a virgin you found you've ever found something that's really disappointing in your life so don't bring up it in the new relationship i guess i'm talking a point here yeah number seven you talk too much and easily share sensitive relationship information or secrets with friends, which they will later use against you. Learn how to be reserved. In the midst of friends, listen more and say less. Maturity entails secrecy. And remember that not two relationships work the same way. Yours may be different from theirs. I guess my point is clear here. In that in t you lack secrecy in your relationship. You talk much. You easily share sensitive information about your relationship. And of which you cannot trust a friend with everything that's running in your relationship. You never know what you share. Someone may use it as a weapon to fight you in the near future because you never know what life brings in the future. So you have to be really, you, you, you have to get a strong heart of whereby you listen much and you say less because you never know. This world is really disappointing. We trust, um, we trust many people, but we get disappointed. And you never know where you will make a mess, a slight mess like this, even a small one. It will trash you like in any way, in any form. So, or in Okuberanga, Bando Bobera Mue Baba Bogin, over sharing one and what. At least, Wolid is a new, but don't share all your information about your relationship. Don't share like all the secrets of your relationship. Don't share sensitive information about your relationship. Kubato Manu Bani Mikwano Jeju join you, Misa. They know your boyfriend, they know your lover. You never know. You will tell someone today a sensitive information about your lover. Straightly, he or she will go to him and share it. Olaba muno wagen doktan di kopta kwesiga laik. Okubera anga gwalaba anga ah. Whenever like I, I be open to my love, I tell ye abisasa nizabala. It seems like tam pachiti wanganze. Really, it hurts. So you have to be careful with whom you share the information with and less of it, not all. Kuba muja kufuna mbuta kanya katini. But andikeno kula angila vyo wabanyumiza. You never know what you've shared with them. So reason before you act. Number eight is going to be you easily get angry. There is a thin line between anger and pride. If you get angry often, check yourself. You could be having an innocent pride that you use anger to cover it up. So here I will include a verse in the Bible that is Ecclesiastes verse chapter 7 verse 9 do not be quickly provoked in your spirit for anger resides in the lap of fools hope you check out your Bible and read about this verse that have given you it's Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 9 yeah you e you easily get angry how muba mua muntunga kwe gamba murieri we ulira o ulira anti o Kwe gawe uli la mulinti a a gwa singa. Like okuli okwe uli roku okwe uli la feeling that pride. And of which inti chikule tele okunyiga mangu. Cause okunyiga mangu kule te wakwe uli la. Buli wewe uli la. Chija kufira ko okwe langa onyiga. If I told you being talked of. If I told you be. Kwe ga anyway. You never know. Mwagara o chicha agendo kogela atechi kunyize mangu. Kubanga gwechiwe ulila chila la teya yogede chila. Mm, 
you will easily get angry. And okunyiga mango, it's not really good in a relationship. You should be someone who is so easy. Kwegamuno abelenga akunyumira. Because you never know characteristics zo mwagarawe ye, opinions ze ye, okunyumira kwekuliwa. And of which anakola akantu katono nyo ni kabelanga kakolachi. Nga kakujako, you shouldn't be that person. Kubanga wanabelo mtu anjiga kubulikamu. Muno jamu buzake mirembe. Kwega atandiko kwenye mira mutima. Yenze nabachi, yenze chino. Kwega mba... Are you like chimulatro kubelanga feeling anti? Okay, you're not happy with her, you're not happy with him. Really? Boto boy yagala chibere? I guess you should check out yourself. Yeah. So number nine will be you wear your lies like clothes. Ho! Oh, Banang at this point. I don't know even Jenan sources are, but I have a reason as to why I put it on number nine. My dear, one lie can drain your entire honesty in a relationship. Lying is a sign of disrespect, and so avoid it as much as possible. Twina bilimbo binji. Waliwa echilim kwegamba okulimba okutini. Atene wabawo okuneni. But you never know what is big and small in the presence of your lover. So you shouldn't lie. Kubango sobola okubelangwa, you've been honest all through the relationship. But one simple small lie you do like this, Gwenolos and Newana Zula Mazimate, chisobola kubelangwa, chimunyiza, chisobola angakula, chimama, love, you never know how your lover will feel. Kubanga jine mitima, mirala nyo. Nimitima jine ngeri jejitu ala mwebi nituna dalango limu love. Ina at least ko friendship, but love. Muna haba ulilango maze mwe chitiwa. Muna haba ulilanga, ulilanga kwe gamba tomu waga denyonga wako wagala. Kwe guy you never know. Love makes someone feel differently. Gwe kola banga akatini. Muganda wange mumasoge chibachinene. So never lie. If at all oyagala, you remain with that honest you've built in your partner. Chivere wo mirembe na mirembe. Never lie. However much something may be too bad. Tell it. Wakubuza, tell it, never lie. Cause really wona mulimba atena chezulida. It will be another issue to deal with. So omu wangara wono utamu disrespecting and okumula gant. Okay, something is changing in you cause okulimbo kutini wekut. Kujale to mwagara o close and oh you're changing. And of which in Tajak thinking and rapidly you never know what he or she will think, either negative or positive. And it will damage. His all her love. Okay, waba wo muntu wakuli mbanga. Okay, chuoli mbi yete chigenda kubela anga. Chidja wo mangunyo like that trust. No kubela anga alo ole rezevida la. But a time uzevi nkwebi singa. Abantu vya balo uza konga alimu relationship. It's all about kuenda. What and what. You no longer trust in him. You no longer have intimacy about him. You no longer take him all her the way you used to. Kwe gamba that way. Relationships as the singers are driving most especially something that's really that can really easily break the relationship. So never lie to your partner. Yeah. And number 10 will be you have already concluded there is no love. I ask, how can you be in a relationship with someone with no picture of love, care and tenderness? Hmm? Muba mwa mutunga kwe gawe mufuna mu like something like obutakanya you end up like you there you don't you don't love me at all you whatever this and this there is no love in this relationship oh my each and every time concluding that way chija kulo waringa muno kuba yaja kuli a hundred percent ya kwe wade Acha kwa gale la kwa gala. Ne whenever you end up like you no longer love me, you no longer care about me, there is no love, there is no what, this is not this. Chija chine ngeli je chisamu muno nabanga gala. Ah, wala. Hmm? Nga nkwa gade nyo kwa ga gwe murie rito labanti mkwa gala. Not uko concluding that there is no love. My dear, that conclusion really isn't good in a relationship. If at all you both are fighting for your love, hmm? you shouldn't conclude with there is no love. That word is really bad to conclude with. Yeah. Number 11 will be you lack discipline and good dressing sensitivity. 
You dress so provocatively, you don't even respect someone you claim to love. You are deceiving yourself and you will get hurt soon if you don't stop. Chinana chintu chigenda kugenda kuwa slayers. Because most of, not every slayer wears provocatively, like in Timungeli, Eberanga, in Malamwechitiwa, Umwagara, with bad. You find that the highest percentage of percentage of slayers, even if you're not a slayer, but omwala ngo owe ulidanti owe da okolachi. Engeli jo ya mbalamu, eja kulaga jova, at of which omwaga rao gofunye, you never know which kind of lady he all, like, he all she needs. Let me say even boys, even guys. Yeah, there is a way you wear young atesa nyusa mwagarawo. If you ever find yourself in a wenti omwagarawo complaining ze kunyamba la yo, my dear change. Omwagarawo kastagamba diva. Your dressing code is really not good. Please change. Manyanti temu sanyu sa temu wesa chitiwa. Kubanga ye muntu mulala nyo. Wali wajyo kusime nyamba la yo. Agambe wow, this lady ho. Like is sexually attractive. Eh? Kwega nga alabanga o o ovasi. Nyatenga kumwaga rao te chimu sanyu sanga. Ya inenge di jagalo yambale mu, mu public. Ate we mube la waka obele openi. Jali. Kubabela uwe. So you should make sure anti muno ev we like wa complaining la kunyamba la yo. Please change. Kubata be la comfortable. Mwa mwa bantunga bakuli la maka agali respectful and responsible. Nga kwe gamba omwala okuyise ebisambi bye ebweru. Nga it's really a taboo. Nga omwala okuambalo upalo okutipo okumamu no okulachi. It's really not good. You never know which type of lover you have. Muli mwa joku gamba, ah, it's okay, you can wear the way you need. Yeah, as long as, like, you still respect our relationship. Neate wabe wa gamba, honey, you know what? That dressing code should change, mkwano. I really love you, but that dressing code. And by the way, learn how to speak to your lover. Not like, oh, you get zemu bogo. This is also another point. Learn how to speak to your lover. Learn how to embrace. Learn how to bring out your point to them. Not that, inti ogenda kogelo bogoka, o yogelengo okolachi. Mm-mm. Neda. Try to be so calm and soft. Nga o ina po enjoy aga lo kutuseri o muno u. Bela nga kwe gamba. You do, I don't know. Hmm? Kwe ga, obele nga na uo uli da edekende mucho yo gela. You get my point? So, mubele nga kukulachi. Obele ne discipline. By the way, even empisa. Mukamu wako zirabi kilamu. So, necho mubele nga mkulachi. Nga mchimanyi. Yeah, you don't respect someone you claim to love. That point, muno wa kugambanga chikwat, manyante nyamba la yote muwe sachitiwa, and of which go claiming anti omwagala. Why don't you change some things you love and need? If at all you love them, I guess you should. Muba muga inga yamba la bubi, yuna yamba la bubi, palo bubi motifka, yuna asibida balance enu, nga kwe gamba really omwagala wa chimu tatana. Nga okay you dress to kill. Na ye whom are you killing yet you already have a lover. A partner you claim to love. Someone you claim to love. Mm -mm. I guess you should dress decently. Like trying to respect your relationship. Trying to, I don't know. So, mubere nga mkolachi, nga mchusamu. Number 12 you will be, you are never satisfied with one girl or boy. Man or woman. Don't you are someone into a relationship when you aren't disciplined enough to be satisfied with one person. Number 12 is very, very, very clear. I want to be serious on this point, by the way. Huh? You are never satisfied with one all, with one girl or boy, lady or man. You are never satisfied. You lack that discipline in you. Yet, like, you want to do with someone. Rachi muno o musindi kilizokubela ngo musula mukwano o kwa dala. O kwa gala o kwa o kwa. Omuteke mkwagala okufumbe kevu. Hmm? 
and you are in someone in a relationship in a war yet you're not ready to get satisfied of him or her echintu echo chimala munyama banange chikutule emitima banange that is Wabaka, you're not ready to get satisfied with one man. Nga diva. Mm? I have my one man. He is one. That's where I wear up my ring each and every video I make. Because he engaged me. And so, if at all you're not ready to stick on him, I ask, why do you want to lure him all high in a relationship? You should be disciplined enough. By the way, you're not re yet ready to decide whom to stick with. It's something else. It's something else. Because you will ever stay confused. You will ever be like, Omtima gugu jakuba guya gaya gabuwa anka wanka. Chino na chiri gwe chirunji oche ya gaza. No. You will never own all the beautiful things in the world. You should only get one beautiful thing, make it perfect. Wechiba nga chiba dechibi, mchuse mpola mpola. Nawe wezembi lo muntu wogogendo kwe ya galana yengo mutege da kutege de. But not this and this. You will never understand all of them. No. It's all about getting one person. Be with him all her. Mberenga mtamso ulamu. Yeah, so if at all you lack that discipline when you're not satisfied with one guy or what, you end up like each and every relationship ends up that way. You lose, you whatever you get. So number 13 is going to be so easy. You are lazy and clingy. You make excess monetary demands while you yourself can't even afford anything on a normal day without depending on a guy or a girl. Get a job or a business, make your own money. Then I have a saying in my life that money impresses lazy ladies. I don't know whether it makes sense. But really, you to yourself, you never even like satisfy your needs. You to yourself, you cannot make yourself earn a living. You to yourself, you fail to manage yourself. You to yourself, eh? you can't afford anything on a normal day. You depend on someone. If I told you a girl, you depend on a guy. If I told you a guy, you're depending on a man. On a, yes, if I told you a guy, you're depending on a girl. Someone will ask, is there any guy who depends on a girl? My dear, there are so many. There are even those who ask like, I need a sugar mommy, what and what, and you ask yourself, is this really a man? Hmm? And sing again, so what I want to to say. You people, you should learn how to hustle. You should learn how to make your own money. You should learn how to make yourself earn a living. You should learn how to afford your necessities. When what you need in osolo kuchetu sako, kulevo joli kome lango osolo kuchetu sako kubulichori na. Yigira kudiva. I'm 22 years and I'm not afraid of sp speaking out my years, by the way. Na ye what I can manage to do for myself is unbelievable. I have a family to feed of which I have Almost, I don't know even what I can even say. Now, if I was that kind of girl who depends on a man in everything, I don't know where I would be. Kubanga no mwami ayagala nyo o mchala alaba anti afayo mugulichimu yetu sako bulichaya gala. When you work for yourself, when you hustle for yourself, a man is just an addition. Um, a caring and a supportive man is just an addition in your life. A jamu mbela buweta go buyambi owe mba gila wu na kuyamba. No labanga life moves on so is and smoothly. Nyegwa buli wabela unga each and everything you depend on a man. My dear. Omsajo ya jatu kamu mbela unga kwega muavu. Otuko kumula bange tisastalala. Yet even you to yourself, you cannot afford anything for yourself in life. You cannot feed yourself even a single day. Wabulo omwana wo mtu ogenda kubela ango mulaba nge kisasalala Rata funye chakua Rata kutusiza kwebio bio wetaga Rata kuwade kaviri Rata kuwade makeup You will see him as useless Rata kugulide lugoye Rata kuwade gift Rata kuwade chi Why can't you get something to do for yourself Oberengo vietu sako Omsajja wo mwetagi nanti Honey you know what I need some help in this Ngawari 
this point is really 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 reasonable you should even put it in your minds omuchale yebezawo sigamba ntyo kwebezawo kugenda kule tiro kubera ngo msajja auto mbala mchitibwa no i tell that's a wrong point once you like you're able to satisfy your needs once you're able to earn a living for yourself once you're ready to afford some things in your life ngo byetu sako atete chikulete la kubera ngo msajja omumala mu chitibwa ngo mufunye taina cha kuwa taina chi no not really oh ino kusigala ngo oli muchala divanze gol nze nina makagange Buli chimu nchetu sako nga bwe netaga. Sia zara liko bulonji by the way yes. Na hata at least nina that good look on me. Ntindi kuna cho kala, ndi kuna cho beauty wala and what say yelu sanga kosko langa chi. Life yang again, I live a cheap life but still I'm proud of being me. Hmm? Na hata tete chinde tulagama anti diva I can afford anything for myself I can do what I can build for myself I can buy my car for myself I can pay school fees for my kids myself Ate chinde tulokuwe langa I disrespect my man No Not really Kuba manyiti That is my lover I never let jantu samu nepulida dalanga I got everything in life that I needed because he satisfies my love desires, my intimacy desires. He satisfies me sexually. He satisfies anything that I really demand in life, most especially love and care, plus even support. So you shouldn't disrespect your man if at all you can reach some things in your life. A man should remain a man. I guess I'm talking, but stop being lazy. Find something to do. It's not that into your, okay, you're not lucky. Okay, what? Okay, you're lucky to get a boyfriend who does everything for you. If I told mu acho gira ko kubanga muri mu abantu ajyo kugamba no honey I don't need you to hustle I not I don't need you okubona abona I will be able to reach you everything Na yo mu agara wa banga tachi gamba nga ko please wali wengbera wo tukana omunyigiriza nyenga ateta jja kugamba ko sa kwagala na yema nyanti obulamu buneno sente ne bonya bonyokola mwana wabe ndi naberanga atundu geno mwana wa mukazi aino kubao it's their responsibility yes i know nenga wo ino funa yo akali mukokola o ino kubako ko chochu sa kwe wa mwe omusajja sente za gendo kuwa tezigenda kuyamba kuzimba be wa mwe kuberanga ku gambo bachusa kubulamu baganda bo jebali okay you know the only Girl, old man whom they given birth to, what do you know about that? Then I will try to show some care and responsibility, but when you meet them, so my point is that this is because when I get the new ate, it will like video a jackalachi a jackuamvu. Number fourteen, you have a very low perception of people and relationships. Kindly change your perspective. Belanga kwe gamba, abantu toba mala mubitiwa. Yes. Atebe lako engeli jotu alamu avantu. Like, if at all someone has said something, don't perceive it in a wrong way. Eh, always on a negative side. Always on a negative side. No. Learn how to perceive people. You get? So, necho chijia kuberanga chikuyamba ko to build up yourself like kuberanga you have that maturity. You have neglected God totally. You operate like no one created you or that there is no spiritual realm somewhere. That's why you get easily manipulated or attacked because you are spiritually weak or insensitive. My number 15 is very clear. You have neglected God totally. Muba mo muntunga kwe gamba go wa guamu dama nyine subi. I have a reason why I've made this point number 15. Because in everything it may be the first and in everything it may be the last. Because you may think in the middle everything you need but at last you have your God or at first you have your God. So never forget your God in everything wherever you do. You have your God who created you and you have to be strong spiritually. I guess my point is really clear. If I told you follow those tips, my dear, I think your next relationship will work out. You never 
you never again like worry about relationship problems because at times we ourselves we are our own problems in our relationships yeah kindly don't forget to subscribe if at all you need to speak to me privately my number is 0704016355 i remain by names of seven gadiva please follow me everywhere i have my instagram page my facebook page i have a tiktok wherever i have all everywhere Senga diva and basically i use only one profile pic right now on facebook my facebook account and page instagram and tiktok it's only one profile pic if at all you're following me only youtube shares a different profile pic but you can follow me anywhere yep or you can get me on my whatsapp number see you again in the next video thanks for watching